Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see we are working in the nether today because I am making a frog like farm and I don't want to deal with the bastion and the spawner uh, and the lava and everything else. I do know where to find one but I figured since I spawned in a basalt delta I am basically guaranteed that there will be magma cubes spawning down here so I will be making the frog light form in here. Um, I won't be needing that many frog lights so I'm not bothered by the lowered spawn rate and there shouldn't be anything else spawning in the basalt out except for ghosts perhaps. I figured the drop shoot would be a lot easier and quicker to go down without full damage. Um, I'll add a carpet on that eventually and you can see there's already some spawns here. Um, <laughs> And I think for the way up, because we can't use bubble vators, I'm, I'm going to do ladders. I don't know if there's a faster way. If you know of a faster way to get up, please let me know in the comments. Because even with ladders, ladders are really, really, really slow. Uh, I know we can do vines, but I think they may be the same speed as the ladders. Anyways, if you have an idea, let me know in the comments down below. So I am not following a tutorial for this at all. Um, as long as you understand the spawning mechanics, uh, you should be fine if you want to make your own frog light farm in a basalt delta like I am. Uh, but I will be explaining what I'm doing as I go along. The only thing you really need to keep in mind is the spawning sphere. So as long as your room fits inside your 128 block sphere, <laughs> you should be fine. Um, this one I modeled at the same size as my nether hub, so it is not um, exactly symmetrical. Another thing that you need to keep in mind when building this is that the floor should be spawnable blocks, so solid blocks. I like the look of the nether blocks for everything that I built in the nether. I just It gives it like an extra moody kind of look. And I would like to be able to see into this room and see what the frogs and the magma cubes are doing. So I'm going to add some glass here. I'll leave a space for myself just in the meantime to get in and out. I never use these blocks. They just look so weird in other builds because they have the little face on them. But I think for the nether build it should be fine. So we do need a collection system and I thought that I could go through here. Uh, make a little staircase downwards and I am going to work with minecarts though I hate working with minecarts they just uh, they temperamental so I'm gonna have to dig down another two blocks that I can put in a proper floor just so I don't dig into it accidentally but I also thought I could use these red um, nether wart whatever you call these blocks uh, as walls um, to see what this looks like mm. I, I like the red, I think I just need some depth. Let's see if this works better because it gets some depth and some darkness and I could make the red version of this. Um, let's compare. Hmm, yeah, I, I like it better. Alright everyone, as you can see I decided to go with the red nether brick in the floor. I will be using it in other places as well. I just think that this color red is especially pretty. And as I was digging underneath to make way for the minecart system, I caught on fire and popped my last totem. Mm, problem, that, that was my very last totem. So I'm going to have to go and trigger a raid if I want more. And until then, I need to be extra careful. So we need the redstone blocks for the powered rails and I have more than enough of these so that's no problem except that that's going to block the hopper. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work because that's not gonna go in there. What I should do is take this out. <laughs> I'll make do with four chests. Um, that should not be a problem, especially with the spawn raids in this specific farm. And there we have it. I think this should be working fine now. Um, everything is connected as far as I know. Let's do a test run and see if it gets stuck anywhere. And go. Yep, uh, works just fine. Um, I think the only problem is if I leave the chunk then if they get stuck. But I will go and get some more of those and we'll have, I think, like four maybe running at the same time. That should be fine. So I was thinking I could... Uh, uh, okay. 
I'm thinking I can add a window in here and uh, I'll have a nice little view while I'm collecting my frog lights. So I'm actually waiting for some nether wart to grow so that I can finish this floor and I thought in the meantime I could go onto the roof and I decided I'm going to do this completely glass um, so that I can build another room up top here and have a nice view into the farm and see if there's anything wrong, um, check on the frogs and see how they're doing and so on. So I'm gonna dig out some more space and built in another room up here. Alright everyone the glass is in. I decided on black glass and I think it gives it a nice little moody look. Uh, I still have to dig out all of the rest of this but I figured um, it's time to add the snow, the powdered snow blocks down below and the reason we use snow is because the magma cubes um, freeze in snow and then they break down into smaller magma cubes which the frogs can then eat. Alright so you want to start with some temporary blocks placing them every other block uh, so that there's a space right around each of them and then add the powdered snow on top and at the end remove all of the temporary blocks so that there's spawning space. The problem with my spawning space here is because it is modeled on the room above it is even um, so there's a bit of a problem here so I have a double space going down the center but that should not be a problem the magma cubes jump around a lot so they should find a powdered snow block to fall into. Alright everyone, it is finally time to get the frogs for the frog light farm and if you remember a few episodes ago while I was doing the, oh, that's an annoying sound, um, <laughs> while I was doing the diamond beacon I uh, stumbled across some frogs and I decided to get some frog spawn just in case I need them and what do you know, I need them. Luckily I do live in an area where I have all three different kinds of biomes so we do have the um, cold or frozen biomes over there that is a snowy peak um, so we should get the green frog from this area I added the torches because um, one of them froze to death so <laughs> I just dropped um, the, the frog spawn in there and one of them froze before I could get a torch down so just uh, remember that when you do this ah frog we have a frog yeah that's a green one okay that's awesome i think we'll grab him out of here oh yeah when the squad hops into town i forgot i got the other two types while i was getting frogs for the first time and over here i think we will get the white frogs if i'm not mistaken because this is a jungle biome um and that would be the warm which is really weird to have this so close to the cold but yeah there we have it i think i'm going to take these two home so long and then because this one's going to take a while uh, because i killed the other one accidentally you know every time i work with mobs i remember how much i hate working with mobs <laughs> it just gets stuck on everything Not gonna drop the frogs just yet uh, i just want to make sure it's safe for them to drop down here which means i need to add another powdered snow block and a carp oh, that's in the way and a carpet so that they don't kill themselves all the way down here and yeah let's go get the rest of them so i got the other one and um i also discovered that this biome that I'm in is the last, the moderate or temperate biome. So I should get the orange frogs from right in my front door. Okay, buddy, you first. Um, please don't die when you drop down there. Is he alive? He's alive. Yeah, alive and feasting. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna go get your friends.
am getting all of the challenges and advancements today. This is amazing. Uh, let's go see what these frog lights look like. A nice thing about these frog lights are you have the three different colors and they have directional patterns so you can change the direction. And um, I think the only place I'll really be able to use them would be as lampshades, uh, which is fine. wonder why the frogs are all in this one corner though. Um, that will disperse eventually. Alright everyone, it is time to finish this room upstairs so that it fits the grandeur of the one below. I did uh, dig through this side here so that we can make a massive entrance which I can fly through. Um, so let's get to doing that. I also figured that I could add like smaller farms, nether farms around here. Uh, I have enough space to do that so I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind as I build. My gosh, the ghosts are annoying. I've had to make a temporary wall because they keep blasting into the room and destroying my nice glass floor. So let's see what these glass panels look like. It'll give us a nice view while also constricting the um, entrance a little bit so that the guards don't see me from every direction. But yeah, I think I'll be able to see this entrance from a mile away. There's another one. There's two. Oh no. Go away. Go away. Oh jeez. My aim today. Go. No. <laughs> Come on, Mel. Come on. Yeah. One more. And he is flying away. Don't think I can reach him from here. Okay, guys. The hall downstairs is done. The farm is done. And I was thinking that I want to do a netherwort farm down there as well. Um, but before I do that, let's go check it out. Hi. <laughs> um, right, so down here you guys already know what it looks like. I have all of the frogs with the uh, snow blocks and the collection system down here. Uh, I have been AFK for a little bit, so not a lot, but this uh, is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> the, a ghost died in the snow as well, so not a very efficient gunpowder farm but at least we know they won't destroy the place so uh let's go one level up and i can show you guys you can see a little bit already uh, i love these walls and the roof the, the walls especially um i enclosed all of the walls for the moment but i do want to add other nether farms through all of those as and when i need them and i was thinking um i could add the nether ward farm in here it should be fine through here is our entrance. I added a lodestone so that I can find this um, entrance wherever I am in the nether. Uh, my only issue is the ghosts that spawn out in that open cave out there. They see me and they can still blow this glass floor to smithereens and perhaps even kill my frogs. So if you guys have an idea of how I can fix that, please let me know in the comments. Uh, oh, there's one behind me now. Um, I know in the overworld you can do things like um, have a water curtain that you can fly through but uh, mobs can't get through. I don't know if we have something like that in the nether. Please let me know because um, the damage is terrible. Move guy. Okay. Um, this is Bastion number 4528 dude can you please like just hide somewhere because i don't want to kill you and i don't want you to call your friends yeah you um okay let's see <gasps> oh oh thank goodness oh thank goodness <laughs> This is, I've been looking for this forever and now I finally have a full set of discs. This is, oh jeez, finally, just finally. I think I've gotten all of the chests that I can. Um, oh no, oh no, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. 
I did a boo boo. I, I did a boo boo. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to lose my stuff. Yeah, I'm, I said I'm sorry. Jeez. That was weird. Hello? Hello? Oh, he's oh he's not gonna let me leave. Oh man, come on. It's been ages. Can you just get over yourself? Fine, I'm coming to you. Wherever you are. Yeah, I, I said I'm coming. Hold on. I'm here. Where you at? Where you at? Hello? I'm waiting. Oh, there you are. <laughs> and we're not so touchy. Come here. Fine. You could have lived, but you had to make this all about you. And now look where you are. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm i going home, guys. I, I've had enough of this place. <laughs> oh. And I turn here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I should have made this lodestone earlier. That is working perfectly. And this is my favorite song in all of Minecraft. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and now I own every single disc that is available at present in the order that I found them in. That that took that took a long time uh, to collect all of these and yeah pick step took the longest i really i've been searching so many uh, bastions it's just it's stupid <laughs> i was wondering if this may look better with a crimson um because it can go either way let me know what you guys think down below in the comments um it's a really easy manual farm just a bunch of hoppers underneath the soul sand leading into a chest but yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think this episode is plenty long enough, guys. Um, I've really enjoyed this time in the nether. It's something different every time. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!